Hi guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. Um, so I'm still suffering with some kind of fluey, coldy thing. Um, but I thought I'd come in here and chat to you guys because I always feel better after filming for you. So what um, I'm going to do today is my YouTube story tag. I wasn't tagged to do this, but I I really like the look of it. I've seen a few people do it now on their channels. Um, and the main thing is, why did you start a booktube channel and what makes you stay? That's basically <coughs> the question, sorry. Um, that's basically, let me just turn that down, hold on. Yeah, that's ba that is, um, that's basically the questions in this tag. So there's quite a long story to why I started this. And if you've seen my very first video on here, my introductory video, you'll kind of know a bit about it already. But I want to take you a bit back to the beginning. And um, so probably about seven years ago now, seven, eight years ago, I got very ill. A number of things happened to me in my life that I got to the point where I couldn't cope. And it came out. It came out of itself in an eating disorder. But not an eating disorder like bulimia or anorexia or anything like that. But I had this extreme fear of food to the point where I just wouldn't eat anything. And I didn't eat anything for months and months and months. And I became very ill, obviously. Um, and it's the worst thing I've ever been through in my life. It's scary. You feel completely alone. You keep... You, you go into some sort of denial and you keep telling yourself that you're alright, that there's nothing wrong, while everybody around you is saying, you know, something's really wrong, you really need to get help. And so, one day in particular, I was at home and I'd gone out to the kitchen to get something and I just collapsed because I was so weak from not eating anything. And my mum took me to the doctors, where she rushed me to, round to the hospital Luckily, I only live around the corner from hospital, so, um, and the guy at the hospital pretty much said to me, if you don't go home and eat now, then you will be taken to hospital and you'll be force-fed because you're getting to the point now where you're becoming anorexic. And that word, I mean, it's, it's a massive, scary thing, anorexia, and... For people that have gone through it, I can only just begin to understand what you go through. And so I came home that day and I did start to eat. And it was the hardest thing in the world to do. I still remember that day like it was yesterday. And I remember because my teeth wouldn't work. I know that sounds really odd, but it's like they'd forgot how to chew it's a really strange thing to say, but that really is what it's like. It's like your body forgets to do things that come really natural to it. And that's kind of what happened to me. And then um, after that, when I slowly started to recover from that, that split off into something else and it left me with agoraphobia. And that's where the books come in. For those of you who don't know, agoraphobia is a fear of going outside um, and it basically results in you having panic attacks and stuff like that when you try to go out and that as I say is where books come in because throughout this time on my bad days books have been a lifesaver to me and they've helped me forget even if it's just for 10 minutes they've helped me forget how horrible the stuff is that I'm going through and now I'm getting better and I'm getting help I've been really lucky with the help I've got but there are still some days now where I can't go out and on those days I just pick up a book and I can just forget for a little while I can just forget that I'm having such a bad day and that I'm not being able to go out or I'm maybe missing something that day that I really wanted to do and so that is why I started this channel because throughout my journey of being ill um, and my journey that continues it's 
books have just been the thing that has seen me through all the way and nowadays I hear so many people saying oh, I don't read or I haven't read a book since I was a child and I find it really really sad because the effects that books can have on people I know what effects they can have you know and I want to share that with other people the good effects they can have on you if you're not very well or if you're just having a not very good time in your life books can really they can't get rid of the problem don't get me wrong but they can really help you just go into another world and forget about it for a little while even if it's just for five minutes you know and then you come back with a clear head and you start on that problem again and that is why I started this channel because I want it to show the effects that books can have and there are so many books in the world so many amazing works of art that I just feel it's so sad that so many people miss out on that because they're like, oh, reading's not cool, reading's geeky. Who cares? Do you know what I mean? Reading is cool. You know, there are lots of cool books out there. And so that's why I wanted to start this channel and also to talk to people that love books just as much as I do. Um, and yeah, so that that's why I started my channel. I, I'm sorry if I made you guys feel a bit depressed, but I wanted to tell it from the beginning because I've always said... I suffer with panic attacks, but I've never really told you the full story, and I am going to be starting another channel, because I do, um, I do some fundraising and stuff, a charity called Mind, which is a mental health charity, and so I want to start a channel where I do videos talking about different um, life issues, things like body confidence, um, eating disorders, phobias, panic attacks, bullying, just talking about all these different subjects that I have, you know, learned a lot about. I mean, I don't know everything, obviously, and I know some people have probably suffered worse than me, and I can't begin to, t like, I can't begin to try and say, oh, you know, I understand or whatever, but I do understand what it's like to feel really alone and... And I guess, in a sense, books made me feel not as alone as well. I'm really lucky because I have a really good family and I had a really good counsellor. But I just kind of want to give something back now. So um, look out for that channel. I'll let you guys know when I put that up. Um, yeah, and hopefully I can help you guys with some of the things that you're going through. As I say, I don't have the answers to everything. But I know what it's like to feel certain ways. Um... But yeah, anyway, so that's why I started this booktubing channel, to show how life-changing books can be. And yeah, to just get people reading again. Because like I said, there are so many amazing books out there. And what keeps me on here? What keeps me on here is obviously mainly you guys. You guys have been so welcoming to me. And obviously, like, the reason that I started this... The fact that you guys have been so nice has just been like, wow. It just That's what it means even more to me because I just did this because I was feeling so bad and you guys have made me feel good about me again. Um, you've, you, Yeah, so you guys are just awesome. And also because, again, like today when I'm not feeling very well, I feel like oh, I'm going to go and record to my friends. I see you as my friends now. And... <coughs> Yeah, it just, it makes me feel better to come on and talk to you guys and stuff like that. So, that's what keeps me doing it, really. You you guys are the main, are the main reasons that I keep doing this. Um, so, yeah, that is my book tube story tag. I, I hope I haven't made you too depressed, but um, as I say, I really wanted to tell you my story from the beginning. Like, I hope I've shortened it. A little bit but yeah so um thank you for watching guys and thank you for being awesome and accepting me because it really does mean the world to me and um yeah so um i will see you all in my next video bye guys